was very hard fighting and we lost a, a lot of uh, comrades there. More than 2,400 students from across Canada embarked on a trip to the Netherlands to celebrate in the 65th anniversary of the victory in Europe. The trip was organized by EF Educational Tours. Throughout the week, students had a number of opportunities to make history jump from their textbooks and come to life, with trips to a few cemeteries for Canadian soldiers, a visit to the Deportation Centre and the Anne Frank House, as well as participating in the Liberation Day Parade and more. I think the students, um, you know, once again really got to um, connect with the sacrifices that have been made by our grandparents and our great uncles and, and relatives and friends and um, really see um, how uh, well they are appreciated by the Dutch. To stand in those cemeteries and look out over everything, it's, it's really, it's a completely different wave of understanding and you know that the Dutch people are going to accept you well but then you get here and there's random people coming up and shaking your hand and thanking you and it's it's whole different understanding. Walking into the cemeteries it was just it was ex extremely overwhelming I saw thousands and thousands of graves uh, we visited about 10 different cemeteries and seeing all the unknown soldiers but knowing that there's someone out there that loved them so much and is missing them was, was pretty upsetting. From seeing all the graves of those who fought for freedom to sitting down with a vet and asking him questions about his experiences during the war are just a few of the memories these students will never forget. It's just really awesome being able to do that and having the once in a lifetime chance of talking to him. He had all those stories about him losing his friends and just his friend how he killed himself by accident and stuff like that. For others, shaking the hand of our Prime Minister was an unexpected honour. I was chosen by my uh, teacher, Mr. Berikla, to uh, hand a rose to the Prime Minister and the Mayor of here. I was very uh, happy that I was chosen for that. That was a very, very nice honor. During the commemorative event at the Holton Cemetery, a helicopter flew overhead and dropped thousands of poppies to those below. Dutch children were joyous as they collected Canada flag pins, maple leaf tattoos, pencils and other items. Now more aware than ever before of what Canadian soldiers went through, some students would like to see more emphasis on history back in the classroom. I'm really interested in trying to talk to like to our teachers in our schools and maybe the government to see if we can get more teaching about the war into the schooling system because I know we talked to this um, a Dutch girl and she was telling us how it's mandatory for them to learn about the war throughout the schooling and they have to take it every year but in Canada we have one year of mandatory history in high school and you skim across World War One to like the Korean War and all those in a semester so you don't get to learn a lot. So I think we, sh we should be learning about what has happened to our country and the people we've lost in order to save us and to help us now. November 11th has also changed. Remembrance Day is going to be different now every year because, well, this is like a giant Remembrance Day for a whole week, so it makes you really proud and thankful. In the Netherlands, I'm Sabrina Burns reporting.